Workers at a Brunswick body shop, they've taken in two piggies, and now they're trying to find them a good home while they're keeping them off the menu. Channel 4's Crystal Moyer has this pretty unusual story. First thing in the morning, I'll come in and say, all right, kids, let's eat. It's a task Mike Heath never expected he'd be doing before getting to work at Pello Body Shop. I know what you're thinking. Where'd you get them? Where'd they come from? You gonna eat them? Last month, the Brunswick business took them in, hoping to find their owners. Kind of like a stray dog that you know's out fending for himself, I guess. And you'd rather have them taken care of as opposed to hunters riding by, shooting them, somebody looking for a barbecue. You can call Heath the pig whisperer. He's gotten so close to the hogs, he named them. It was a kind of a shock joke, ham and eggs. During the day, you can find ham and eggs in some shade, like under this trailer here. The people at Pello's Body Shop said about a month ago they found them wandering around their neighborhood. They've gone door to door, even on social media. They haven't had any luck locating their owner, so they want to find them a good home. Preferably a farm that has other animals, goats, horses, somebody that does this full time, that sees them the same way as we do. They'll roll around like a couple little puppies in a minute. Pets, not food. We well, understand it. Pot belly pigs are more fat. They're not a edible pork. You smack and you need to work on that manners. Wanted a good home for these two not so little piggies. They have to stay together. Heath says they will interview anyone who's interested in keeping the pigs. I guess you have my kids in the background. Crystal Moyer, Channel 4, the local station.